What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we're seeing so much pushback right now against the woke entertainment industry, specifically against the Hollywood elites, who if you go against the narrative, if you step out of line, if you don't think exactly the same way they do, you are looked down on, you are ostracized, you are cast out and you are canceled. This pushback is not only coming from fans and the people that are meant to consume this absolute garbage as evidenced by the record low Oscars rating, but the pushback is also coming from people People within this industry, people that don't align with the leftist Hollywood echo chamber who are speaking out because they know that this is wrong and they've had enough. People like Samara Armstrong, people like Siaka Masakwa, people like Gina Carano, and of course, people like Hercules himself, Kevin Sorbo, and that's who we're going to talk about today. Now, Kevin Sorbo has been speaking out for quite a long time. He's been speaking out for years. He's made it very apparent that he doesn't fit in in Hollywood because he is a conservative. He considers himself a Christian. He's pretty vocal about both of those things. He has definitely been blacklisted from traditional Hollywood, and he's been speaking for a long time, but this interview with PragerU, I think, was awesome. There's a bunch of clips that I want you to hear from this because it just goes to show this is exactly what happens in Hollywood. They claim to be inclusive. They claim to want diversity, but of course, it's not diversity of thought. And if you step out of line, you will be canceled. You will be ostracized. This comes from Bounding Into Comics, of course. Josh Berger, shout out to Bounding Into Comics. Conservative actor Kevin Sorbo opens up about cancel culture in Hollywood, ostracizing conservative artists for their political views. Uh, again, I did that video a few weeks ago uh, on Samara Armstrong. Uh, she's over on Instagram. She speaks out a ton about all of these things. Highly recommend you check out that video and her video on PragerU, as well as Siaka Masakwa, and of course, Kevin Sorbos. I will leave a link to the entire video in the description below, but there's a couple things I really wanted to show you guys. In a recent interview with PragerU, Hercules, the legendary Journeys actor Kevin Sorbo, revealed some details about his early beginnings as an actor, offered his opinion on cancel culture, and spoke to how Hollywood in more recent years has taken to ostracizing conservative actors. As a conservative himself, Sorbo believes actors have it even more difficult these days since Hollywood is not very welcoming of artists who don't align with their leftist views. And I'm just going to let the man speak for himself. I've done enough speaking in this video already. Let's hear what Hercules has to say. Let's hear what Kevin Sorbo has to say about Hollywood and about cancel culture. The, the difference today, I think, is back then to compare to now. I think you got to play even more of a game now. You got to be ready to, I think, bite your lip more than ever in, in the climate that's going on in America today, the climate's going on in the world, because you've got this whole woke thing, this cancel culture where people come after you and it can tear you down for something you said 30 years ago, which is insane to me. And these are the same people, apparently, are perfect people that have never, you know, what does it say in the Bible? You, you, you know, you without sin cast the first stone. And of course, all those people who would do that uh, immediately, inevitably the mob turns on them because yeah, no one is perfect. Everyone has said something in the past. And guess what? Some things that a lot of people said 10 years ago, when you look at it today, uh, it's looked at in a different light. And the reason that we have this atmosphere is because of these cancel culture fucks. But I didn't notice it until I got up to Canada where I filmed my second series, Andromeda. And I started noticing more on the set there when two of the actors on the show found out I was, I was conservative and they said, you're a Republican, you're against education. And I went, I'm against education? I said, what? I said, I, that blew my mind. But I, the, then I started, when I started doing more and more movies, that's when I started hearing people saying stuff on the set. And I would challenge people. I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? I mean, mm. they love their labels. This part's great. You're a homophobe. You're a racist. You're an anti-Semite. And I go, okay, tell me how I am. Where, where does that come from? I've been on the set of so many movies and TV shows in 30 plus years, and I've worked with so many people that are gay, lesbian, whatever. There's not one that would say I was a horrible person to work with. There's not one. But they love their labels, and it's so easy to throw labels at people. And like you said, now we live in a culture where it's, you're guilty until proven innocent, when it used to be the other way around. I and he's right. We've talked about these things before here on the channel. These names that they throw around, these labels that they throw around mean nothing anymore. You know, bigot, racist, homophobe, transphobe. That's what they put. They put that label on people that they just disagree with. Not anyone who is actually shown to have the, the, the qualities that would actually define someone like that, actually define a racist or a transphobe. But because they don't agree with you and they can't actually argue with you, they try to label you to make 
any of your arguments and any of your speech invalid. We need to continue to push back against dog shit like that. And then he goes on. Another great clip uh, where I think you guys are going to like this one. Here we go. It's crazy how... The, the music starts to get more intense. That's how you know it's a good part of the clip. The damage they can do to your career and how they can destroy people's lives right now. In 2010, there were a couple of incidents that just, I just said, okay, I've had enough of this. And I remember going back to my wife and saying, I've had enough of the hypocrisy where nobody's pointing it out. And I started getting more vocal. Of course, we had, now we had all these, you know, social media was starting to grow in its infancy, but we started to take off. And I started saying stuff. My wife said, you better look out. They're going to come after you. And I said, all I said was two plus two is four. I spoke the truth. That's just truth. But she was. That, that's not allowed anymore. That's not allowed. You can't just say things that have been the truth for thousands of years. Nowadays, if you say that, that's offensive and you might get canceled. Was, she was right. And I got to a point with my agent, who was a big time agent, I was with a long time, and my manager just said, uh, we can't represent you anymore. I said, why? Well, because you're a conservative and you're a Christian and you're, and I was like, what? And I said, this is an industry that screams more than anybody else for tolerance. You have to be tolerant. You have to be, you know, freedom of speech. And now all that stuff is completely a one way street. It's like, you say what we say or you're out, you're out of the club. You say what we say, or you're out of the club. That's exactly what it is. You have to fit in the narrative, and you will see it, because it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It doesn't matter even if someone you know isn't a white conservative male actor. If you have, uh, say, a black female lesbian actress that was saying these same things that Kevin Sorbo is saying, that's stepping out of line, out of the echo chamber... They'll go after her too. They will attack her. They will cancel her because they don't actually care about diversity and representation and inclusion. That's all just a virtue signal. These people only care about the narrative and that is what they will protect at all costs. Their narrative. Uh, I absolutely uh, suggest you guys watch this entire thing. A lot of it's like the history of, you know, how he got into Hollywood and like how it evolved and what it's coming to now and where we're going in the future. But I wanted to play at least a few clips out of there so you guys could get a good idea as to what it actually is. And, you know, Kevin Sorbo has, has been deplatformed by some of these big tech companies. You see this right here. This is Kevin Sorbo on Facebook. Facebook did it again. I created my new page about a week ago, and with roughly five posts, it's been deleted. No politics, just a few funny posts my kids sent me. Censorship at its finest spread the word. Uh, Facebook chose to just delete him off the platform, deplatform Kevin Sorbo because of his politics. We see this over and over and over again. One place that Kevin Sorbo has moved is locals uh kevin and sam sorbo over on locals now you've heard me talk about locals quite a bit in recent days um i am a part of kevin sorbo's community so you can go and see what he's saying his unfiltered takes where he won't be deplatformed simply because of the way that he speaks or the way that he thinks um i'm also over there on locals you can see a lot of different people in my community starting to share things out not just myself it's a place where everyone can take part in this discussion and everyone can, you know, express their views. Geeks and gamers, the same. We do think that Locals is a really big part of what we want to do going into the future. So, you know, we really do want to know what you guys think because as much as Locals is our platform, our community, you guys are a part of that community and that's what makes it so cool. So, shout out Kevin Sorbo. I'm going to leave a link to his Locals as well so you guys can give him a follow, join his community because it's pretty obvious that if you don't have the right opinion they will try to cancel you if you don't have the right opinion uh and vote the right way look the right way they will try to destroy you so shout out kevin sorbo for making this video once again continuing to speak out he's been doing it a long time but great video from prager you uh definitely recommend checking it out let me know what you think about all this in the comments below smash a like button subscribe to the channel ring the bell for notifications share this video out there and i'll talk to you later thanks for watching everyone and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.